Most of the media coverage and the U.S. government line in the United States is that drone strikes are very precise and they target with surgical precision particular militants and terrorists. What we have documented is that drones kill not only terrorists, they kill many others, they kill civilians, they have killed women and children. We went to Pakistan in two separate investigation missions to speak with people who themselves had experienced drone strikes. The result of our research is a report entitled Living Under Drones. We were particularly concerned about drones because our own government is involved in using drones and we believe there has not been adequate oversight of the use of drones and the basis for deciding who gets killed where and when. We gained access to the people in what's called the Fatah region, the federally administered tribal areas in Pakistan. That's an area that is cordoned off and into which virtually no one can enter. We were able to speak to people from that area who came out to other parts of Pakistan and to interview with us. one of the things we found is that there are entire communities who live in areas where drones are flying overhead 24 hours a day, seven days a week at times. And these people don't know when those drones will strike. They don't know who they will strike. The result is symptoms of psychological disorder, of trauma, of severe anxiety, and of dysfunctionality. We heard stories of people who won't leave their houses. When we interviewed psychiatrists and psychologists who had treated people with these symptoms, they said that a number of people displayed very serious symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD. We may not have declared war on Pakistan, but for the people living in northwest Pakistan under drones, they're in a war zone. One of the things we found and documented were incidents of double tapping. There'll be an initial strike on a target and then very shortly after a secondary strike. What has happened in the period between the first and the second strike is that neighbors or people nearby or family members or in some cases doctors have come to assist those who may have been injured and still survived. And when they're doing that, a second drone has hit. The people with whom we spoke in the communities affected, almost without exception, told us when there's a drone strike, we won't go near afterwards. And we even heard this from some medical professionals. It has made people extremely angry at the United States. The New York Times recently uh, classified drones in a piece 
as the new Guantanamo, the new recruiting tool for Al-Qaeda. One of the things we heard from several people is that they didn't know what America was before drones. And now what they know of America is drones, death, and terror. One person we interviewed asked me, do American people know what these drone strikes are doing? Do American people know the strikes are killing civilians here? And people said to us, we want you to go back now that you've spoken to us and tell the American public the impact that drone policies are having. Through our report, we would like the American people to understand that the narrative that they have heard about drones is not accurate. That drones cause death to civilians, they terrorize entire populations, and they may well be counterproductive at many levels. We need to rethink our policies in light of the disastrous impact the drone strikes are having on the people who live under them.